Today, we are going to clean a messy, messy room. I've been wanting to do an update on, you know, how that room is looking, but I thought I would go ahead and do a clean with me video while talking about some of the things they are into. Disclaimer. One, you're gonna see the Christmas shindig on. I like to be comfortable, I like to be cozy, I like to be warm when I am cleaning. It's not an old video. Second, if there's something wrong with the back of my hair, let's not talk about it. I ain't seen back there and I'm almost certain something's off. Now I'm not sure if everything gonna be squeaky squeaky clean because they do have food and things like that but yeah we're gonna do the darn thing so let's get to cleaning. Love you guys and let's move on. Now I was just getting ready to clean when I realized I need a drink. Not that type of drink but a drink <laughs> nonetheless. I want a margarita without the margarita so I'm thinking maybe I can go ahead and try to make a margarita without it. I just said that. Stop repeating yourself. I'm getting used to it and I'm a little rusty. Let's do a frozen margarita. I'm hoping I do this right because I haven't really done this before. How you make a hey, go How to make a mocktail margarita. Here are some recipes I found. Girl, if I want it to look. Okay, it says club soda, super syrup, lime, orange juice, and a garnish. Why would I want orange juice in my mocktail? They all say orange juice though. I ain't got no orange juice. I guess it's because you don't have the other liquids. Yeah, they all say orange juice. I ain't got that. I got pineapple juice. We're just gonna see how it goes. Wait, I got oranges though. Girl. Oh, I was about to say, cause my, my refrigerator light didn't come on. I'm a little hungry too. I do got, I do got, I mean, they're not oranges, just little mandarin oranges. I mean, they're oranges, but. Maybe I can blend the oranges and then get the juice from it, strain it. This is a whole lot, a whole lot of this turning into. Let's do it, y'all. Can I put some lime juice in there? Let's put some lime juice. Up. And say to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You gotta be aesthetic now. All right, yeah, I know I'm not aesthetic. All right, I just had to change the battery, but let's try this. I don't know. <laughs> this ain't giving margarita. I think I might have put too much orange juice. The sour hit me. I can work with it though. Got this drink. Put a little bit of this in it. It's good. It's like a passion fruit. One handed. Shit, shit, shit. Let's try this. That could do it. I kind of want some more though. Buss it. Buss it. Buss it. I can't do it on my knees. Get too old. A cup in a lid. Is this extra? Do y'all do this? I have to have it. 
Mm-hmm. That's what I needed. Mm-hmm. One, it's a new day. Two, I look different because I'm bald headed. And three, when I was doing the girls room the other day, I couldn't be great because then they came home early and ruined the room all over again as you <laughs> can probably see. So essentially, I'm starting over. So we don't get back into this thing like it never happened, but I did just that it was a new day. One thing I did want to talk about is these blocks. Do your kids get a lot of use out of these? I feel like blocks is one of those things that kids are into when they're not home because otherwise I feel like these end up all over the floor. I wish I could find a set that had like gigantic blocks, but I haven't really found any. I did have this set right here of, uh, I feel like it's the EC Kids or something like that. I don't know. I'll link it in my Amazon storefront so you guys can find it. But I got these sets. These things probably came a little bit more in handy when they were younger, probably in the first six months because i could just roll this to them stack this up in front of them they just knock it down it kind of helps with fine motor skills and that kind of thing so this i do like and plus it's soft so if they knock it down it's not as big a deal as something like this i have tried different kinds of these things but all in all it just ends up on the floor and becomes a trip hazard i don't even know how long i'm gonna keep these because really it's just sitting here taking up space now this house thing is something they are definitely into if you look around in their entire play area you will notice that there is houses everywhere because they are into the little people house situations right now. So this one in particular is Coco Melon. I will link this as well. Um, this one is not a lot going on with it, but for some reason the girls do like it because it doesn't have so much going on that they can actually pick up things like this. It did come with like chairs and maybe it's just go cook my little brother or something. I don't know. But they can kind of freestyle. Let's play together. And it does got little sounds like that. But this is probably their favorite. This came with these cars. Let me see if I can find them. Another main reason I have to stay on top of this room for getting too dirty because they won't actually play with it if things aren't together. I try purposely to put all the house stuff just place it on top and they'll figure out where they want each house to be played with because at this point I buy so many toys and little knickknacks. I don't remember what goes to what clearly. I'm so sad because I actually couldn't find the cards. I'm hoping by the end of this I could actually find it. But I couldn't find it. So I'm just going to have to move on for now. But if you look at the photos you'll see what cards go with it. There's little things that you can do with this which makes it kind of cool. If this is the card they can bring this down. Ride this up here. And bring it out go 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 and the toys that goes with it like flies down this thing and for some reason they love it when i'm going out you'll be there Cause everything reminds me of you i can't take no more girl i think i'm losing my mind try to go to work but i lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you i can't take no more i miss your touch from your hands and your body so much to think of you as someone else can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me now 
I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'ma do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Can we stop the clock and rewind? Go back to that moment in time. When you say you want me for life. Now. <laughs> I figured since I am right here, wee, I should talk about this. This right here is the girl's sensory swing. If you look around the room, they have two of them, one a piece, obviously. This is not that spandex nylon material. This is cotton. I actually got a different one, which was softer than this one. And the girls actually wanted this one more. I feel like if you have a younger child, this cotton is pretty good because they'll just drag themselves on it. And I like how wide this one is. If you have a young child, they would be able to lay flat in this and kind of coop themselves up. Um, if an adult of any size really tried to hang in this, it won't be comfortable. It will squish you in here. But this one's pretty good because you can almost stretch it however long you want to because two is double lined so these aren't connected in the inside so you can make it even even longer if you wanted to but having a sensory swing and the reason why i got it is because um, i wanted something indoors that was like a swing they can essentially swing themselves because have you ever been to the playground right had more than one kid and tried to push them and one don't want to swing and the other one wants to swing it's a whole headache honestly so to prevent me from having to swing them at the parks i got this and it has brought them in this room a lot often because that was also another reason why i decided to get it is because in spite of all the stuff they have they decided that they did not no longer want to really play in here and they want to be with me with grown folks since like uh -uh, you need to be in there with all that stuff i bought the only reason why we gave up this master bedroom for y'all to be able to play and have a whole little theme park in the house you know what i'm saying so if you don't have one and you have a space even if you don't have the space make it space because at the end of the day things in your house is for you and whatever makes your life easy i put a swing in my living room my kitchen my dining room and that looks tacky and what will people think no it's not about them it's about you and you do the things you got to do to make your family good and your know, kids happy so do what you gotta do i don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still I got by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah, I guess yeah. our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose I'm kind of thinking, I don't want this sitting up there I don't think I should be able to use this whenever Especially since Noel recently broke this So I'm thinking, should I just move this to this wall? I think the regular little people can fit on this thing too. Let me see. I think this little people can they fit on this? Oh, that's so dope. This is a Barbie little people. They do like this thing. Oop. I didn't even know it did that.
There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, down, down. Baby, going down, 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 down. Down. So hard to stay afloat. Ah. So cool. Boy, don't get me wrong. Sure, we're having fun. But it don't mean that I'm in love. I like you a lot. But you gotta step up. Tell you what to do, how to make me fall for you. You should learn that on your own. I'll play cool, cause I hope you pick it up soon. And you know just what to do, don't you? Boy, just be honest. He loves that chair. I don't know why I love being in his house. So, let him be great. Now, if you ever think about painting this plastic, understand that your kids may end up scraping this off. There's no reason to fix it. They're gonna damage it again, so. Now this one right here, it's probably my personal favorite. I know it seems like every toy I'm showing y'all, I don't have all the pieces. That's because I don't, they lose pieces. I'm just trying to give you the concept, baby, and you take it from there. The reason why I love this is because, look at it. Like a little ice cream shop station. They can play with each other. One usually stands on one uh, this side, the other one stands on this side and they serve each other ice cream. You can put it in this little cup as well. It does have a little notch where you can just grab one of the toppings. You could use this if you have older kids. And bow, drop it right there in the cup or plop this right on there, put it right there, take it off. And that is your little ice cream. You can also do multiple too. So if you want like a double, triple, whatever. You have like the caramel that you have to actually place on top. Like that. All right, y'all, so I am finally finished cleaning this room. That's gonna be all for this video. Hope you like this one, and I'll see you the next one. Peace.